And we are back. This is Batwoman Season 1, Episode 19. I almost said 18, but this is Episode 19. I'm not used to it because The Flash and Supergirl are only getting 19 episodes, but Batwoman's getting 20. So no, this is Episode 19. But hey, we get 20 episodes, so I'm good. I'm very excited for this episode. Hush. I'm very excited for Tommy to be in the co- the bandages. I'm excited for it because I love Hush. Oh god, and I'm not ready for next week because it's confirmed next week ends on a huge, huge cliffhanger. And apparently according to both Cam and Rachel, it's very, very satisfying and it serves as a good finale setting up season two, so... But again, that's next week. Let's just worry about this week because anything could happen. Oh god. So, I don't know what's going to happen, but either way, I'm excited. <gasps> Hush! Mm, that chills. It's your sister, um, so I, I get it. And that's the truth. Uh, I gave it to someone. Who? Magpie. It will sound worse than it is. Just tell her. Who do you work for? It's more like with my sister Margo. You know her as Magpie. Magpie is your sister? Surprise. Surprise. Why does she want to? It bought her her freedom out of Arkham. Who did she give it to? I don't know. Alice. I don't ask for details for exactly this reason. Besides, by now it's lost up the food chain. She's in the wind. I told all this to your friend. What? What friend? Blonde chick with the British accent. She cornered me in a parking lot, put a knife to my throat. It didn't stop. Julia. Me. Not no one. Just people who have lied to me in the past. And last time I checked, that includes you. Thanks. Kate, hey. I think Didn't Julia's working for Sophia. She was just leaving. It would make sense. I don't know. It would connect all this to Alice, so I, I feel like she's working for Sophia. Like maybe she has her father or something. Maybe she's blackmailing her. Says the girl who went home with the bartender and left the key to destroying Gotham on the nightstand. Damn. You don't like how I do things? No one's forcing me to be here. You know what? Oh. oh. You are absolutely right. No, let's not turn on each other now. My mom is now obsessed with that show. Oh, oh, I forgot her name. Oh, uh, what was her name? But she was like episode 10. Oh my god, I love this girl. Oh no. Fuck. It's fine, she's got it. Voila. Oh, damn. Now, knock his ass out. Shit, I would have knocked him out first. But at least she got Parker, so either way, we kind of got to win. You here already? What are you talking about? What do you mean, what am I talking about? Oh, no, it was Mouse. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, no, Luke, no. Welcome to Arkham. Damn, I should have thought of that once it said incoming call from unknown caller. Fuck, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Daddy's code. Alice, or sweetie. We will fry this little cutie. I love you, but let's not hurt Thank Luke you. or Julia. There's no way my mind. And who's Julia? Uh, her other ex. <laughs> okay, move. <laughs> Me? <laughs> Julia? Could she stay, please? I love her. Okay, but Mary going through other people's shit is me. Oh. Hello? Glasses. It's glasses. You can translate the journals. Try. So the glasses can translate that journal. Huh? What does it say? Uh, the journals need these to decode them. 
So in the other journal. Huh. Something that I can't tell anyone. Most oh. of all, Gotham's least mentally stable villain. Why? I'm sorry. Can you tell the audience? I think the audience deserves to know. Huh. Let them go. I'm sorry. Who are you? <laughs> all the torture therapy I've endured in here has messed with the old knock I said let them go. Daddy? You're outnumbered and sadly, we don't do demands. Oh, fuck. I'm not demanding. I'm trading. Does Lucius Fox's glasses? glasses? Oh. They unlock the coat. No. Yeah, I want to know. I want to know what's on there. You cannot do this. Why not? If I don't, she'll kill you. She'll kill you! The book doesn't contain bad weapon designs. It contains the secret to killing you. Oh. I still want to know. Order of Saint Dumas. Let them go. That's an Order of Saint Dumas. Azrael? Are we getting Azrael? Fuck these bitches up, Kate. Oh, right on the chessboard. I would call that a full-on checkmate. Oh, did she just deck him with the nuts? Oh, right in the face. Oh! Oh, I thought that was like slow motion spit, but it's just pillow crap. Of course, a cocktail. Oh, just kiss. I don't know how to feel, because I ship Julia and Kate, and part of me ships Kate and Sophie, but I don't know, these two were really cute. There's so many ships I have in the show, but I don't know, this is kind of cute, though. Okay. She was gonna go dunk Sophie, she loves her! Oh, we're getting a love triangle. And I'm here for it. Because I followed him to his boss and made a deal with her to stop pursuing Sophia. In exchange for your life, I'd fetch her the journal and we'd both be alone. It's Sophia. If she had the journal, she could still kill me. She played me. I didn't know what the journal entailed till today. Now that I do, the deal's off. Who is she? Sophia. Sophia Sohail. Never heard of her. Well, she's heard of you, love. Alice worked with her in the beginning of And now that I've double-crossed her, we've both got targets on our backs. Great, so what if Sophia is the big bad of next season? She's been built up all season, so she might be the big bad next season. Of course you're done. Get out. No, She's not gonna get out. With the service you're warning. When I see you again, it's war. Oh. Jacob, you know... I can't wait for him to find out that his daughter is a bad woman. Do you even care that you burnt the whole thing down? No. She's obsessed with Kate, and that's what's gonna drive them apart. I care about killing the bat. So go bring me that walking facial gone wrong so he can tell me where to find. Yeah, Mouse is gonna betray her. Well, Kryptonite. Oh, fuck. Okay. That ending. So Alice is gonna go kryptonite? What is Alice gonna do? Okay, wait, I'm curious. I love Alice, but like, what is she gonna do with kryptonite? Last time I checked, Kate is not Kryptonian. <sighs> it's probably just for some like weapon or something. I don't know, but that promo looked intense. Oh God, I'm worried because both Cam and Rachel said the finale is gonna end on a cliffhanger and it serves, it's apparently the cliffhanger serves as a really satisfying ending for a finale or for a pseudo finale, I guess. I'm worried, <laughs> but excited. Hush was amazing. Hush, creepy, but amazing. A lot of people aren't a fan of the look, which I can understand because it's CW, so things are not gonna be pitch perfect. Personally, I'm okay with it. I like it, so... Um, I love seeing Parker again. Can she, can she be team back too? I like her. Like, I know we just got Mary, which I'm good with, but come on, Parker, I like her. Um, oh, in the love triangle, Kate, Sophie, Julia, 
I don't know who to ship to be honest. I shipped Kate. I didn't ship Kate and Sophie in the first half of the season because I wasn't a big fan of Sophie, but she grew on me. And now I kind of do ship them, but I also ship Kate and Julia, but I also ship Julia and Sophie. I don't fucking know. This is Vampire Diaries all over again where I have multi ships. Not that I just compared this to Vampire Diaries, but yeah, they're def the love triangle is it's here. So, um. There was something else. I forgot. Oh! Julia! She's working for Sophia. That was not too much of a surprise. That was kind of obvious. I do think Sophia is the big bad of season two. Like, Alice is for season one, but... Alice was working with Sophia in the beginning of the season. And they, they hyped her up as someone who you should not fuck with. And that she's extremely dangerous. I think she's, she might be the big bad, or at least a major villain in season two. It just seems obvious. And the di diary, the journal, uh, Lucius Fox's journal, when they code decoded it. I don't know if y'all caught that, but it said the Order of Saint Dumas. That, t I mean, it could have just been nothing, and it could have been just there as like a little Easter egg. Part of me thinks that signals that the Order of St. Dumas are going to be in Batwoman, the show. Maybe like a season two or a future season. But it definitely makes me think the Order of St. Dumas is coming. I'd be kind of excited. I mean, I think the only time the Order of St. Dumas has been done on a live action show for DC is Gotham. The, big, the first half of season two did the Order of St. Dumas. Which, the villain was annoying, but you know. Gotham. Gotham was iconic, so I could definitely see the order coming to the show, maybe in season two or season three or something. But they definitely will show up at some point, honestly. Um, yeah, the finale is next week. I'm worried, but I'm also like, excited. But then I'm sad because then no more Batwoman until the fall. And it's a shame, because this is such a good show. I didn't expect to love it this much. Like, I remember last year, people were freaking out over the trailer. Which, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt here. The trailer was not the best. But I was not going to let the trailer ruin any kind of hope I had for the show. I was like, I do what I, I, did what I always do. I'm going to wait till the pilot, then I'll judge. Sure, the pilot wasn't perfect. It had its flaws. This show honestly gets better with every episode and the villain, Alice, you know what? Queen, iconic, honestly. She's one of the best era first villains ever for me. Like, obviously she's not on par with like Reverse Flash, but then again, is anyone? It's Reverse Flash. But still, Alice is definitely one of my favorites. Like if I had to, if I had to pick top five Arrowverse villains, Thawne, definitely. Prometheus, definitely. Mm, um Alice, and then two more. Hmm. Zoom. Definitely Zoom. He was a good one. Oh god, if I had to pick one more, let's see, Merlin? No. Slade. Definitely Slade. Um, even though he redeemed himself, but he was still technically a villain, so Slade. So, Thawne, Prometheus, Alice, Zoom, Slade. Um, but yeah, I do think, well, I don't know anymore, because my original theory was Alice was going to become Red Alice in the finale, but we're not getting the original finale until season two. So, I think for the first two episodes of season two, it'll finish up Alice's arc, and she'll become Red Alice, more of an anti-hero role, and then she'll still be in the show, just not as the villain. She'll be more of an anti-hero. The villain will likely be Sophia. I mean, I could be wrong, and Sophia could just be more like a secondary villain. And the villain could be... Order of the Saint Dumas. <laughs> I just feel like they're coming, I don't know why. But, yeah, I think Sophia is definitely a, bet, a good good bet for a villain. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, I could be wrong, I don't know. I mean, we'll find out in July, because San Diego Comic Con, even though it's cancelled, they just confirmed like a day or two ago, they're officially holding a virtual Comic Con, which I kind of saw coming, but... It's official, SDCC Online, which I don't think they announced when, they just are coming soon. But I think it'll likely be at the usual Comic-Con day at the end of July. So that basically means, for example, if 
filming does go back in July, which according to Vancouver, they are they plan to go back in either June or July. And July is the usual filming date for starting back up, so and the trailers are only for the first two, three episodes. So if they can do that, we may actually still get the trailers at Virtual Comic Con during the live streams and everything. For Batwoman, Supergirl, maybe Supergirl, I don't know. The Flash, Legend, I don't know, it depends if Legend doesn't travel next year. Superman and Lois, definitely. Because I know they haven't, filmed the, they haven't filmed the pilot yet, but if they can film the first two or three episodes, we, we should get, I want a trailer for that, honestly, because I'm excited for that. Like, I've been wanting Tyler Hecklin Superman to get his own show, mainly because I'm not a huge fan of Tyler Superman, but I, I wanted him to get his own show. That way I could see more, and now that we are, I'm excited for it. Plus, we're going back to Smallville. Wouldn't it be great if like they had their own opening with the Smallville theme? They won't, because that would be repetitive, but you know, it would be cool. Granted, I'm still on season six of Smallville, I'm catching up, and I should have watched the show a long time ago. It's iconic. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for that show. But anyway, that is Batwoman season one, episode 19, the penultimate episode of the season. So excited for the finale next week, but I'm very nervous for what the cliffhanger will be. I'm scared, but excited. But anyway, that is it for now. Be sure to let me know what you thought of this episode and what your theories are on what will happen in the finale and what you think the cliffhanger will be. And I will see you guys next time.